Hey guys, I'm Onizuka. And I'm Kuro. Today we're gonna have a different type of video. We're gonna go over some news that's been coming out recently in the anime space. So... Uh, you wanna start with this, huh? Yeah, we're gonna start with this one. The Gundam voice actor Toru Furiyama admits to a four-year affair with a fan. So if you guys don't know, this guy, uh, Toru, he's uh, the voice actor for Sabo in One Piece, which is what I know him from. I didn't yeah. even know he was in Gundam, to be honest with you. You haven't, have you seen that much Gundam? No, I haven't seen that much Gundam at all. Because I heard Blood Orphans, but yeah. Um, I know him from One Piece too. It says he has a voice acting career that extends more than 50 years and he has performed in over a hundred titles. So he is known as, oh wow, he's a tuxedo mask in a Sailor Moon, holy moly. That's, yeah. <laughs> this guy's No, up. he's a he's a bunch of high level characters. I didn't really look into his Oh, he's his Yamcha list. and Most Dragon from, Ball. Yeah, he's Yamcha. Sabo in One Piece. And Sabo. Jeez, this guy was in a lot of stuff. Yeah, because they said his, his career was how long? Like over 50 years. Yeah. Yeah, he looked like he's... I don't know how old he is, but he doesn't look that bad for his age. Look at him. He don't look old. It's a weird, like, Ella DeGeneres haircut they gave him. But, <laughs> but yeah, man. It's That's wild. That's crazy. So do you think he gets canceled like that actor that uh, they found with weed? The JoJo guy? Um, What's his name? The guy from... I, I think. I think so. Oh, damn. What was the name? What guy was... What was the name of that guy? I don't remember his name. I can look him up. The there was also someone who was involved with the kaiji anime i forgot what they were accused of or supposedly did but they also kind of got you know canceled or, or erased i think it was a composer or somebody on there yeah one thing we do know is that japan does not play once you get some type of uh controversy it's pretty much over for you so we'll see how this goes especially with uh sabo being in the one piece anime pretty recently yeah if you guys are caught up and up to date mm -hmm. so uh yeah, this is going to be It looks like they, I don't know. I think they might recast. Yeah, I mean, he is up there in age, so they could have said maybe he's going to retire, force him to retire, and uh, mm -hmm. just disappear from the limelight. But didn't you say there was a character uh, that was uh, based off of him in a Detective Conan? I don't read Detective Conan, but I read some comment that was like, there's a character that I think is named sort of like him, and also sort of based on him uh, somehow. I don't watch Detective Conan, but... If that's true, I wonder what's gonna happen to that character. I don't think anything's gonna happen. They're just gonna probably not have him in for a while and then slowly like diminish his role probably in the show. I don't watch that show either, but it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate yeah. to the fan. He hit her, he yelled at her. Yeah. This guy's obviously a scumbag. On to the next story for this week. More voice actor news. We have some sad news to announce. Uh, the voice actor Hideyuki Uzum. Yeah, he died he at the age away, of 68. Unfortunately. Uh, yeah, he was the voice actor for Diamante in One Piece. So again, another One Piece tie-in. First Sabo, now Diamante. Uh, he was also in Mobile Suit Gundam and Mobile Suit Gundam SD, Gundam Festival. So yeah, this guy's been in the industry for a while. And sadly, he passed away with pneumonia at 68. Oh, so man. condolences to his friends and family and everyone that knew him. And I hope he's in a better place right now. I don't know. Does Diamante show up really? After this? Past where he already has? Um, Probably like maybe in like cover stories or something. No, there hasn't been any Diamante. I don't really think so. But I mean. He might, he could always pop back he up. He could always pop back up because if people are current in the in the manga, yeah. Uh, Don Flamingo was relevant again, and technically the family is still around, so it, nothing is impossible where he can't like show up again in a all-out war in another arc or two or whatever. Mm -hmm. But condolences to uh, this voice actor's family. Uh, on to the next bit of news for this What's week. Eden Zero. Yeah, apparently Eden Zero is ending in about five chapters. So. And according to this, the manga entered its final arc in December 2022. Sounds about right. That's not bad for a final arc. I remember when they used to say that about Naruto, and it was like, oh, is it though? It just kept going. Yeah, well. That's not too bad for a final arc. Hiro Mashima doesn't play around. When he says final arc, he means it. He, he wraps up. This guy. You think he's going to do something else? Oh, a thousand percent. Yeah. This I don't see him stopping anytime he's soon. He's batting like a thousand, man. I, <laughs> his record as a manga, because like, what does he have? Uh, what's the first one? He had Rave Master. Rave Master. There we go. Mm -hmm. 
Then he had then fairy he had fairy tale, which just blew up. Blew up. Then he had he has zero. zero blew up. Did he he's do had more stuff? he's done like video game stuff. Okay, yeah, two. And he does and like been one shot video games. Yeah, yeah, he's he's done like one shots. He's done like crossovers. Because I'm pretty sure Rave Master and Fairy Tale crossed over, and then I think Fairy Tale and Eden Zero crossed over. So yeah. this guy just works hard. Yeah, he's very efficient with his time. It's either he lets he must let his assistants do a lot of the work and help like help him, which I don't know, but I don't know. I make I make fun of Fairy Tale. I'm gonna come out right out <laughs> come right out and say it. Uh, I mean, but he's got hit after hit after hit. Not everybody can do that. Yeah, so that I think he does start another show or another franchise after this one. You know what this kind of has me wondering? Guy from Soul Eater, Okubo. Ah, Soul oh, Eater yeah. was you know pretty pretty decent hit. Yeah, Fire is Force is a pretty big hit. This is true. I do remember him saying like he like I think he wants to retire after Fire Force, but what if he does? What if he comes back? It's possible. I mean, hey, those are two pretty big series. Yeah, they, those are. And technically, if Soul Eater gets a remake, which it should, definitely, um, that could bring definitely. some more eyes back to the manga, mm -hmm. and that might entice him to, you know, make something else. So Plus, we'll see. Uh, yeah. But yeah, all you Eden Zero fans, uh, yeah, it's about to wrap up. So get caught up if you want to, so you can read the last chapter when it comes out. And I should read it right now and just catch up yeah how many, how many, how many chapters? chapters is it 30 no way it's 30 oh no that's the that's for the magazine yeah just like eating zero yeah i mean if it entered the final arc i would say without looking right now i mean i'd say at least 180 chapters so like we're looking at like i'm seeing 288 288 so wow. you're not catching up to that by i mean five yeah. chapters that's five weeks yeah is this weekly or is it like monthly uh what magazine is it it's in week. We should show the magazine too. Yeah. Yeah. So five weeks. Yeah. Okay. It can be done. And I'm not like, saying I'm gonna do it, but yeah, maybe yeah. I should. And I don't think they're gonna go on break, bro. You're about to finish. You can just bang yeah. out those five weeks. But hey, I mean, how crazy would it be if like two chapters away, just goes like, on yo. break and it goes away <laughs> for a long time? Yeah, we're going on hiatus. Hunter Hunter level, just long time. Just last two chapters, and they're already done. Nah, he wouldn't do that. But yeah. All right, so that was for that. Next story on the week is the Baki manga franchise tops 100 million copies in circulation, which That's is dope. a lot of copies. It's a lot of Baki. It's a lot How of do you feel about that? Because you read more Baki than I do. I'm surprised. That's a lot of, like, Baki's pretty wild, to be honest. So mm -hmm. it's, a lot of, it's a lot of people reading it. Mm -hmm. So I'm surprised. I didn't know it was that popular, but it makes sense because it's been running since... 99 yeah, oh no how long 91 mm -hmm. jeez yeah so 32 33 years yeah so wow and it it doesn't stop it's ridiculous like every time i've checked in on baki something's happening that you're just like how? it's also funny because doesn't it kind of work like jojo where there's like sub manga and stuff I mean, but it's it's sort of like but he's always had the Baki manga, but sometimes it would have ended and then been called like something else Baki. Right? Yeah, yeah, but it's always would following Baki. Those? It's not yeah, I know. Like, it's not like how it's JoJo where one, not different characters, but how yeah. it's like parts. Would you consider that? I guess so. I haven't read it since the one. There was a one with the caveman Pick, pickle. It was pickle. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was the last manga I read. So anything after that, I no idea. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know where to get it to be honest with you. But I'm excited for the crossover with uh, King and Ashura for, the, for sure. Kids. So yeah, Baki going up there in sales. To get you guys some Baki. I gotta get back in on Baki. I loved the original Baki, not the Netflix remake. Not saying that there's anything wrong with that one, mm -hmm. but uh, the the one from the 2000s. The, yeah. Remember the scene where like they're having the tournament and they're in the locker room between matches, oh. and then Yajiro walks in. This guy isn't even in the tournament. <laughs> he just walked into the locker room and everybody shook. And then I guess somebody was in his way. I don't even remember what the situation was, but he just walks up to this poor guy and folds him in half backwards like a suitcase. Like, a suitcase. Mm -hmm. like literally just broke his back in half for no, no reason. <laughs> and that's when I was like, oh, this guy's about his business. Yeah. He doesn't yeah. fuck around. So yeah, <laughs> Baki. I definitely. thought you were going to bring up the other moment that you usually bring up. 
Oh, the Retu Kai, where the guy was on somebody's neck. Yup, <laughs> yup. I knew it. I knew he was going to bring it up. Yeah, this uh, Retu Kai, one of the characters, he would like sit on your head. That was his finishing move. He'd sit on your head in like a, uh, I don't even know, like a Chris, the uh, Indian style. Yeah, because legs crossed. Legs yeah. crossed. And then, and he then he'd just like, like ro rotate his whole body in a 360 and like decapitate people pretty much yeah. in the ring. So violent. The original Baki, that arc is underrated as a tournament arc, if I'm gonna be honest. Remember the guy that uh, would rupture people's eardrums and fuck up the equilibrium? Yeah. He took like his hair and stuck it in somebody's ear and it wrapped around their like cortex or something in the ear and yeah. he just pulled the hair back out and it ripped the guy. <laughs> rip the guy's balance up like just crazy shit. <laughs> the guy that would slap you and he'd slap you at something a frequency about the water that the water in your, in your body. body would vibrate <laughs> yeah <laughs> something like that <laughs> yo maki is the best or the guy that uh his punches were faster than the speed of sound because yeah so when he punched it, you would hear it exactly like a sonic boom or his something phones would, his bones would break because <laughs> of his yeah, sonic some, boom some nonsense like that uh great characters <laughs> in that show Baki, the original one, underrated, you guys. I think it was like 2000 or 2001, maybe? Or... Yeah. Unintentionally funny stuff. Just unintentionally funny. Yeah. I wonder how many people remember that one, that watched the new one. Maybe a lot of people. I don't think just... anybody did. A lot of people don't even know that that's a thing. They yeah. just think it starts with uh, um, that one. That one. All right. So for the next story, uh, One Piece is going to be having some type of animation showed on the sphere in las vegas from june what is this from june 10th to june 16th the sphere is going to be showing uh one piece animation on the outside uh i don't know if it's full episodes i doubt it it's probably just going to be like specific scenes or yeah it doesn't specific, say what it's going to be a specific animation they made for the sphere but yeah, either way probably. that's pretty cool and just goes to show that One Piece is growing in popularity in the West because normally everybody would say Naruto and Bleach or something else, but slowly but steadily. Nah, I, th I think I think for a few years now, people have been coming up to when things like P uh, film, not film red. Is it film red? Yeah, it is. Film yeah, red. and film red and like when they had that thing in Times Square and stuff. Yeah, but it's still it's still I don't know like One Piece is huge now, but I still feel like the hype like Naruto. And like, I don't know. You think people still rate Naruto and Bleach higher? In America. No, not Bleach. I think Naruto, people still. In America? Really? Yeah. I, 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 think I like One Piece Maybe I'm person. thinking, I'm seeing it because Naruto's over. Yeah, I think that's why you're thinking it's And like, over. like I said, a lot of One Piece stuff has been happening like crazy. Mm -hmm. Things like that. So maybe it's because Naruto's over. I think so, but I just remember Naruto, everybody like hyping it up. In the, in the in the West, like I feel like in America type stuff. I remember people hating on One Piece for specific reasons. Exactly. But I'm saying I think that in recent years that's shifted. Yeah, people definitely like it more. But I don't know. Yeah, if it was... and like people started watching it. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. But either way, great news for One Piece. And I wish I was in Vegas because they have the cafe as well, the One Piece cafe. What I said they should do, what I would do, they should just show every episode, see how long it takes. Show every Play episode. Play it 24/7. Seven. <laughs> And just play you're gonna burn out the whole sphere screen just just play every episode in order how does that work on a on a sphere though because like no idea. what's the front like where like where would you watch it from this uh, bro if you have a sphere you can figure that out fuck it just cut it in half and have it playing on both sides like one side has yeah. this episode and one has yeah. yeah same episode on both sides you know just so you get stuck in traffic watch in one piece put the subtitles up so you don't have to have the audio disrupt the neighbors yeah wow so you so you definitely crash because you're reading subtitles oh yeah i'd crash i just i'd camp out there and just watch one piece that's what i think they should they should do that but then weebs would just be sitting in the middle of traffic getting hit by cars so yeah you can't do that really. only then will will one piece overtake naruto in the west yeah yeah pretty much <laughs> all right on to the next story so Apparently, in its 2024 meeting, Sony revealed that uh, Crunchyroll now has 13 million registered subscribers, which I think sounds, I thought it would be more, to be honest. I thought it would be more. So 13 million in the whole world with all these weeps? I, I thought it'd be at least 50 or something. I don't know. 
I don't know what I thought it would be, but I definitely thought it would be higher than that. Maybe there are other services in other countries that we're just ignorant to. Like maybe if you're in like Japan or something, it's Crunchyroll isn't the biggest. It's like something True, else. Yeah. And then in China, that I doubt they have Crunchyroll. They probably have like some other service where yeah, people true. are watching it. Then you got to account for piraters, but still, 13 million is is pretty low because everybody I know that watches anime pretty much has a Crunchyroll account. Yeah, yeah. Like everyone that I know. Mm -hmm. I thought it'd be higher. Yeah. I mean, I guess you do have stuff like Netflix is getting a lot of anime and Hulu just takes anime and takes them out back to shoot them because mm -hmm. no one ever hears about Hulu anime ever again after they get them. But uh, yeah, it's good on Crunchyroll. I'm glad to see that anime is like growing to the point with 13 million people. 13 million people. What's the lowest subscription price? You know, like Crunchyroll? seven bucks or I something. It's like eight dollars, I think. Yeah. So they're making a good chunk because I know I'm I'm at like the highest tier, I think. God damn near. What's funny about this story though is like, I feel like people don't know how much Sony is into anime. Like when you look at like the Japanese side of Sony, they like, you know what Aniplex is? Yeah. Aniplex. They own Aniplex. Yeah, yeah. A lot of like the music that goes into anime. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Like anime songs. Sony has like music labels in Japan and like they make bank off anime, bro. That's the fact true. that they got Crunchyroll is like, it's actually crazy when you think about it. All right, and Sony also has expressed interest in uh, the anime training field. They're considering developing an academy to train overseas animators to collaborate with industry professionals. So Aniplex and Crunchyroll, Crunchyroll will be at the core of this. And they're hoping that these new animators will help uh, with anime production environments and the overwork that's going on in the industry. Because as you know, a lot of animators over in Japan are overworked and underpaid. So if they can uh, get some help from the West and a lot of anime fans over here can, you know, follow their passion and learn to create stuff and draw, I think it's a good thing. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see with corporate greed. Hopefully yeah. it goes well. But yeah, good on Crunchyroll. And let's look out for that. Uh, if they do do that, uh, training course anime canvas yeah we'll talk about it we'll let you guys we'll put the details down in the description so that uh if you guys are interested you can join that be cool all right next up speaking of new anime projects sakamoto days project has been listed for netflix in 2024 so uh yeah i recently just started reading sakamoto days oh like really a week how far ago. in are you probably about eight chapters okay so I'm still pretty fresh, but uh, I've been seeing hype online on Twitter. Apparently, I don't know what's going on, but there's this old man with a sword that's been oh, he's messing back. stuff up. He's back? <laughs> Yo, they were like him and Sakuna, because Sakuna's been on he's a run. Back? Yeah, I, I don't know who he is, but- Because I'm a few chapters behind. He's back? Maybe, uh, bro, oh. I don't know. what. Oh. You know who Sakuna is in J yeah, JJK, yeah, yeah. right? Okay. So he's been on a tear for like oh. a year. He's been fighting like 30 people. And on Twitter, there's this meme where like, yo, the past month, these two people have been going ham. And it's Sakuna and an old guy with a sword. So the old guy did God. something. He's back. <laughs> so that should let you, my reaction should let you know. He's back. All right. So yeah, Sakamoto Days is amazing so far. It's funny. It's it's filling an itch that I lost when Fable finished, which is another assassin anime, mm -hmm. which is, or assassin manga that's filled with comedy. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm really happy for Sakamoto Days. So this Netflix project, if it does come out, I hope they do it justice. But it is something that's very doable. I, I got a, like. I got a question for you because I remember reading it when it came out, like when it first started, and some people online were like calling it basically Diet Gintama. Diet Gintama. I don't know about that. Or they were making comparisons. And I was like, I don't know. It's a different type of comedy. It's more like a wholesome comedy. Gintama is like... It's the comedy, but it's. I think it's also the... Because this was like when it first, for the first few chapters came out. Mm -hmm. I think it was also they thought the, you know, the, the, the trio. You got Sakamoto, Shin. And, and girl. Yeah. And people were comparing her to Kagura. Chinese kind of yeah i can see yeah. that somewhat but like but it it it, it loses that pretty quickly yeah gintama's humor is a way those dark. are like uh, surface level comparisons yeah yeah once you get into the series like not really yes i was on twitter and there was a a gif of a gintama episode it was the the car the arc where they get turned into cats mm -hmm. and kondo was there and somebody else uh 
I think it's like somebody's turned into a cat and they're taking their tail and they're like using it to like bat away like enemy cats or something. Yeah. And then Kondo, instead of using his tail, they drew him as a gorilla. So he was using his his, his mm -hmm. dick <laughs> as mm -hmm. like a, a weapon. And it was blurred out. And he was just a big gorilla just chasing people with his penis in his hands. So I'm like, that's a Gintama joke. Mm -hmm. They're not doing that in Sakamoto days. But uh, yeah, this is very funny. Very funny. The action is great. The, you have to like double take and zoom in on panels sometimes to see what's going on. But yeah, top tier, top tier manga. I'm so glad it's getting a live action. Or is it a live action or is it just, it could just be an anime. It doesn't say live action. It just says Sakamoto Day's project listed. I would assume it'd be an anime. It, yeah, it doesn't it say isn't, it. It's not specified. But I would honestly assume anime first, then manga, then live action. But it's like, funny because as I've been reading it, as it's been coming out, there've been like at least three different times where people are like, yo, the anime's confirmed. But this time it actually does make sense. It's never gotten to the point where Anime News Network posted about it. You know what I mean? It's always been like, uh, maybe. Yeah. But this is like the third time. <laughs> but th this is this one seems real. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna get caught up in Sakamoto days, and then uh, I think I'm gonna try un Undead on Luck next. I've been hearing that's getting into its final arc. So same thing with this potentially. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I'm excited to get caught up and see the guy with the sword. I don't know who that is, He's but... Back. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Adult Swim announces a Toonami Rewind block with Sailor Moon, DBZ Kai, and Naruto. Okay. So starting May 31st at 5.30 p 5 p.m., it'll start with Sailor Moon, then an hour of DBZ, then uh, 30 minutes of Naruto. Okay. I mean, yeah. I mean... This is cool and all, but I mean, uh, like at this point, the best thing to do is to just get a streaming service that has a bunch of anime and just call it Toonami. That's the only way you're going to relive the magic. And you can get like, you know, the Spotify AI, the AI DJ, you just get the AI, the robot, what's his name, Tom? Yeah. To just like, you know. DJ. Yeah, DJ. <laughs> Talk to you. Talk to you in between episodes. Maybe you can add commercials if you want, but it's not really commercials. It's like breaks where he just interludes and like you see him talking in space or something. But like, I mean, that sounds like what they're do gonna do. But you're talking about just doing it with AI. Yeah, on a streaming service. They're talking though. about you know they're gonna bring back the classic yeah. packaging HD anniversary broadcast. Yeah, but I get that. But like, who's gonna tune in to, to cable? I feel like I'm gonna be honest with you. I feel like someone on Reddit has already made something like this where they've. I see YouTube videos where people compile like all the old you mm -hmm. know, stuff. I'm sure somebody has something like this or could make something like this. I think Crunchyroll should get into the service. They should just partner with Toonami or something and be like, yo, or. Because my thing is like, this is airing on TV, right? Like yeah, terrestrial TV. Cartoon Network, yeah. Like, who's gonna uh, watch that? Like, who's gonna watch it at no. this point? I I, I'm sure there are some people who still will, but that audience, if you really, really want to make money, is, is in other places. I legit think you gotta get an app <laughs> or license something with Crunchyroll and have like your own Toonami AI <laughs> built into the Crunchyroll app and then you can have Tom and it can you can be watching any anime. It doesn't have to be like DBZ. You know or something. what they could do? They could literally just whatever pick an anime a service, probably Crunchyroll, make sure they have every anime from Toonami on there, and then make a section where literally it's like fucking DLC. <laughs> you click on it, you can Play a random order you can play with the promos and all that yeah they could literally just do that something but this ain't it it sucks because i toonami does hold a special part in all of our hearts because you know growing up that's what we watched after school but nostalgia isn't enough in 2024 to force people to maybe, maybe we're hating back. too much i think because some people are gonna watch it no i'm not hating but I think i'm just like keep the toonami name going but in i'm just like why how many times can you reboot or like bring it back yeah i think you got to partner with an anime streaming service and somehow get like yeah make an experience out of it people like that make an app out of it yeah some people, people like that just, yeah but yeah well if you do want to watch sailor moon and dbz kai and naruto on tv like the olden days starting may 31st you can do that all right so that's it for this video guys that's all the stories we have for you this time Please remember to come back to the channel and like and subscribe if you like yeah. what you have here. 
Uh, and let us know how you guys felt about this video. This is uh, just something we're trying out. Yeah, let, let us know in the comments below. And see you next time.